Hey guys, so today I wanted to do just a really quick video looking at these um, Amsterdam acrylics that I recently got in a haul a couple months ago. And so this is going to be a little bit of a discovery, just playing around kind of for me as much as for you. Um, because so far I've only used the white and I mean, that's been great. Um, but, you know, it would make sense to try them all out. So I think, you know, so I have also some yellows from other brands that I can compare because I just had more yellows than other ones. I have this Golden Fluid, um, Golden Open, Liquitex Basics. This is just a craft paint, Kaiser Color, and then a professional Liquitex Heavy Body. Um, and the main difference between, you know, professional paints, which these are artist quality, supposedly professional paints, and, you know, more student grade sort of craft paint is just the amount of pigment versus binder. Um, the professional paints should be more pigmented and kind of, you know, hopefully better pigments because I think the main difference that comes out is that um, the pigments are kind of more pure, so the color should be easy to mix together to get the results that you want to get the secondary colors and um, also maybe more light fast. Um, but that's the jury's kind of out on that. So, so let's see. Let's maybe do like a little bit of mixing and see what happens. So this is the... This is the ultramarine blue. And in terms of like opacity and streakiness and all that, like it's it's hard to really compare professional versus student grade paint for that kind of thing as well because some pigments are just more opaque, opaque than others. So that doesn't really determine, you know, whether it's quality paint or not. And here just adding a little bit of white and I'm just using mixed media paper. So, um, like for example, like over here, you can see that the top thing is transparent and opaque spectrum, and it will tell you where this paint falls on that spectrum. So you can have very professional quality that's completely transparent or completely opaque. And this one's kind of more transparent, as you can see, based on how it covers the black lines. So, so that's not really a way to determine, you know, anything. Um, also, even if you do have a paint that's more transparent for acrylics, what you can do is you just add some white to it. Or if you don't want the white, if you just want, you know, that paint to be... Um, just it's pure color what you do is you just add more layers after a couple layers even a transparent paint is going to be pretty opaque so here it is with a little bit of white here's a little bit more white so it does have a very nice consistency to it um, you can see it here. This is the white I've been using, and this is the Stay Wet, Wet palette, and I've had that there for a few days, and it's still good, uh, maybe a couple days or so. And these ones I just put there, and they're nice and thick, but not too, too thick. <laughs> like they, you know, they're easy to kind of um, work with, and they've got some good fluidity to them, so. Um, and then let's try the yellow. I might have been a little bit of red in there, but let me try to get just pure white. Okay. So you, you get some really nice opacity as soon as you add white, as you can see. So I think then the main sort of test will be how well they um, blend into each other. So let's say we do some yellow and some red 
and let's see if we can get a nice orange. Uh, I would say that's a pretty nice orange, to be honest with you. It's definitely an orange, so let me see if you guys can see that. So that's definitely orange, a nice, I mean, we want to see a nice bright orange. So let's see if we can do a little bit more with that. I think we just need a little bit of red. Oh, that red is really strong, so, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's a good orange. That's a good orange. Okay. Let's see if we can get a purple. Um, if we get some, just need a touch of blue. <laughs> and we're going to mix that into the red. I don't know what color that is. I mean, unless we add some white we might not even be able to tell what's going on here, to be honest with you, because it's so dark. Um, also, I wouldn't necessarily, so, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily expect it to be a bright purple by mixing these two colors, because what we have here is a warm red and a warm blue. And that's usually the kind of purple you get out of that mix. So um, if you had a cool blue and a cool red, like a magenta and a cyan, you would get a nice bright purple. By mixing two warm blue, a warm blue and a warm red, you get kind of a muted sort of warmer purple. So I don't know what, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what color that that just made. So it's a little hard to do a mixing test with these colors because it's not really the the proper primary triad. I would have preferred maybe like a magenta, a cyan, and a yellow instead of a pyrrole red, ultramarine. These are pyrrole and ultramarine for the red and blue. So you get kind of like a warm, muted sort of purplish color. I don't know if you guys can see that with the light. It's hard to show, but I mean, that's, that's basically the color you get. And let's try to do a green. just a little bit of blue. I think a green will be much the easiest one to see probably. Okay. I think we want to see a nice bright green, but again, it's a warm blue with a yellow. So it's the jury's kind of out on whether you would get a nice super bright green with that or not, but that's definitely coming out to a nice, sort of relatively bright green. So let's see. There we go. Um, let's see if adding more yellow. Again, it's not ideal, but it's hard to say if that's just because of the colors they chose for the triad. And let's see if we can try a little bit of a, this yellow from Golden Fluid. This is a Golden Fluid yellow. Now it is a different color than that one, but you can see that even though it's fluid, it's got really good pigmentation and coverage. Let's try Liquitex Basics.
with the basics you get a little bit more streakiness I think even though the, the basics are relatively fluid as well so This is the I'm trying the Kaiser color, which is the craft acrylic. It's very transparent and it doesn't have the best coverage. Like that's gonna need multiple layers. It's not dry yet. <laughs> Six and we have craft paint basically. Um, and then we have let's do golden heavy or Liquitex Heavy and Golden Open, which is basically they, they don't dry as fast. nice and thick but again that depends if you do you want more open time to um, to play around with you know blending and all that or do you like it when it dries fast and then you can just work in layers instead it really kind of depends on what you prefer so and again if you guys wanted to see the consistency of them A good consistency. Let me see. Still trying to get a nice green. Um, and I do actually, I have a bunch of these little ones. I had gotten a big set before and I do work with them a lot and I don't have any issues with them. But certainly, you know, these ones, like the golden fluid, are better. Um, so I think these have, like, a good coverage and are not streaky. They do dry fast. So I think if you, they're probably pretty comparable to the Liquitex Heavy Body. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have any golden heavy body to compare it to, so um, so I can't really do that comparison. But in terms of being able to work with these, they are pretty good. Like I said, I've been using the white for the past few months, and um, the white's been working great. So uh, these were at Jerry's. It was these four paints of 75 milliliters uh, plus a brush set for $17 at Jerry's Artorama. So if you guys wanted to try them out, that's a really great price to just get to give it a go. And I think in terms of like, if I need a blue, a red, or a yellow, and I can mix it in with my other acrylics, like these are definitely, you know, a pretty good deal and pretty good quality. 
Hey guys, uh, I decided to come back and do a couple more experiments just to be able to compare better. So I found a blue and a warm blue, warmish blue and a warm red. Um, and then I found a blue and a red from these as well. And we'll see if we can make better purples and greens um, with this, okay? Because otherwise I feel like it's not much of a comparison. Uh, this, this blue is getting pretty funky, but it's fine. Um, let's just put it right on the page. This is really nice thick Strathmore paper, by the way, mixed media paper. So it holds up really well. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do the three secondary colors for each of them and see what happens, okay? And then for this one, we're gonna use this white. Um, and then for the other two, I actually do have the liquid um, white and I have a nice big tube of that. So let's see what we can cook up. Oh, that's a really funky blue, but that's okay. We are going to go with it. Let's see if we can get a green. That's a really funky green. It's kind of a muted green, which I guess, you know, we would have expected. And then let's do an orange. Oh, we got a little bit of blue mixed in there, but let's see what happens. Um, we are going to see, too, if this is very different from, from the other colors we got on the other page. So, and then let's try to do this blue with the red. to get a purple and see what happens. So remember, these are the student grade, student grade ones, Liquitex Basics, which can actually be a pretty great fill-in. That's not much of a purple. That is not much of a purple. <laughs> okay, that's really it seems like the greens are kind of the easiest to uh, mix with the purple just green and orange are not too bad but the purple just doesn't want to doesn't want to come together so let's see again let's just do try to the orange one more time And you guys can see it's kind of like a very streaky consistency and we're probably going to need a couple layers if we want it to look good at all. Okay, and then let's do the, the professional ones. And what I have here is a Prussian blue. That's, that's all I have. Or, I mean, I had a bunch of other blues, but they were all kind of like a lighter sort of cerulean blue. And I didn't think that would be a fair comparison because obviously lighter blues would make much prettier mixes. So I didn't think that would be entirely fair. Okay, we want to do a green. Okay, that's the best green we've gotten so far, I think. Um, oh, and then I was gonna also do the, do the white, oh, it's a big blob of it, but that's okay. But that's definitely the best green we, we have so far. Um, let's do an orange. And the paper seems to be kind of absorbing some of that, so 
Let's do more orange. <laughs> That's a strong red. That's a beautiful orange. Okay, that's definitely, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is a better orange than that. This is a better orange than that too. So, and that's a better green than, than that mess. <laughs> um, and then let's do the purple. Okay, that's the one we, tend to have trouble with, so let me get rid of some of this. Ooh, that's actually a nice purple. can see that that's a nicer orange than than these two oranges that's a more pure green than than this situation and this wasn't even a purple um, and we got like a nice sort of um, purplish color over here and again mixing a warm red and a warm blue you can try this with you know watercolors too you're not gonna get much of a wonderful sort of um, Okay, so let's compare. Now we can kind of compare and see. Uh, just make sure everything's in frame. Okay, so I think now it's easier to compare what we have going on here. Um, I would say that this green right here is a lot more like this green this purplish this is a purplish color whereas this is not this and this these are both purplish colors and this kind of like brighter orange is more similar to this orange than this orange so i think we can kind of say that the um these were the amsterdam expert acrylics which is they're by Royal Talons, which is the same brand that makes the um, Rembrandt watercolors, which are really good quality. So, so this is that. This is the golden fluid, and this is the the basics. So I think we can say that the, these are more similar in quality to the professional paint than the um, than the student grade paint, and also. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a red and a blue in the heavy body, so I can't really compare that. Although, you know what? I do have, I do have, um, no, I don't have the right red. Um, I just have a cool red. So, anyway, so I guess you guys can kind of form your own opinion based on, on these results and decide, but... To me, it does seem more of a professional grade paint than a student grade paint. It has a nice creamy sort of consistency to it and um, and it has, you know, good coverage. So I've definitely been liking the white paint. Um, the white paint reminds me of the, of the heavy body white paint um, by Liquitex Professional that I had before. So, okay, hope that was helpful. Thanks, bye.